Hi, my name is Dr. Neelam Palmer and I work as Director of eLearning. Today I'm going to show you how a teacher can access Microsoft Office 365 platform using the ViewSonic Digital Whiteboard solution. The ViewSonic Digital Whiteboard solution includes ViewBoard hardware and My ViewBoard software. Although there is a bespoke ViewSonic My ViewBoard software made available to the teacher, it is just as effective to use the board as it is and access one's pre-made teacher lesson plans, materials and resources in the classroom. So to begin with, let's have a look at how you would access Office 365 within the browser. Just as you would access the browser on your classroom PC or laptop, you would do the same on the browser in My View Board. Click onto Office 365 as so. As you can see, I'm already signed in and now I have access to all my tools within the Office 365 application suite. This is really useful for teachers as you are then able to find all the tools that you require in one place. As a teacher, you're able to seamlessly move from one tool to another without having to log in and out at each time. So for example, let us look into the OneDrive app where I hold all my teaching resources. You will then see that I have a list of folders with all my student year groups within my OneDrive. In this instance, I can open the PowerPoint presentation which opens directly within PowerPoint online. As you'll see, I've now in my Year 7 folder, I've opened up into my PowerPoint presentation. And while I'm here with the students, I'm able to highlight any areas of online safety and awareness that they need to be aware of. Using the annotation tools, I am then able to circle any particular information that I want them to highlight and us to discuss in greater detail. At the same time, I can then highlight any other bits over here that may or may not be relevant for them. So as you can see, I can emphasize the point of keeping safe and keeping a positive digital footprint with the students. While at the same time, I'm able to click on our slide to show the students how to access any sort of links or YouTube materials that may be required for them. Besides PowerPoint content, I can add more images, video, word file, PDFs, YouTube videos, and other internet content. Always remember to save your work as my view board file and then make it available in your folders within your OneDrive for your next lesson. Another popular Office 365 app is OneNote. And as I would do in PowerPoint, I can do the same within OneNote itself. You will see that I have my OneNote class notebook file in here, which I've assigned to my students to compile a list of their resources, materials, and links that they need for their internet safety project. Last but not least, if your school view board has Office 365 desktop version installed, you will also be able to use it offline. You can do so by minimizing your screen, clicking on the tab on the bottom right, and then selecting tablet mode. Just like you're using Microsoft Surface Hub, you can now use Office 365 on the ViewSonic view board. Thank you very much for watching. For more information, please go to education.viewsonic.com.